If you know me, you know I have a passion for home maintenance. Now, my desire is to show appreciation to the things that I have by taking really good care of it. And the only way for me to remember what needs to be cared for is I have to put it down in a schedule. So yes, like my other routines, I have a home maintenance put into a routine. Now I'm currently revamping my home maintenance binder. And once I do, I'll share that here on my channel. In today's video, you're going to see me cleaning and maintaining a few of the areas that I have down in my binder. Some of these areas I take care of each spring and others I care for more often. I'll let you know which areas those are. Okay, so let's jump into today's video. All right, so this is the second year in a row that I have cleaned this grout. I have pets and 17 grandkids that come in and out from the pool and the grout really shows it. I'm also going to be cleaning the grout in my bathroom because of my hair products it gets built up in the grout lines and I want to get all that cleaned up. So I've been meaning to seal this grout and I know that I told you guys that I was going to do it last year and it's my bad that I haven't done it because if I would take time to do it, I wouldn't have to clean these grout lines every spring. Now I'm going to be starting with the most mild and gentle grout cleaner that I have because when I clean, I like to try to use the most gentle product first and then after, and if it's not working or there's areas that need um, additional care, then I'll pull out the big dogs. And I'm also using this grout brush that I found on Amazon. This really helps the process because if not, I'm on my hands and knees trying to do this and you can see that that would be difficult. So um, the cleaner that I'm using right now, it comes with a brush. However, it's the kind that you need to get on the ground. So, and it also says that you can spray it and it will work, but I can guarantee that you are going to need to do a little scrubbing. So after you spray the product, then you go ahead and you do a little scrubbing on it. And then you're going to go back with a wet cloth or I'm going to be using my O-Cedar mop. And you go ahead and you get up all the solution that you have on um, the tile and also on the grout. So you're going to see how much dirt I'm able to get up out of these grout lines. It's amazing. And I do end up having to pull out the big dogs for some areas, um, not for a whole lot of areas, but there are some areas that's um, gonna call for the big dog. So I'll show you that product here in just a second. kitchen I'm doing this more than just in the spring um, obviously you have grease in here you have spills in here things like that so I like to do this um, maybe two or three times a year but also if I see a spot that is on the ground I'll just go ahead and pull this out with the small brush and I will um, spot clean areas that you know have a little bit of a, a stain or things like that grandkids spill things I get down there and I clean it up with this uh, more gentle solution here
look how disgusting this water is. I'm going to have to go ahead and empty this out and get me a fresh batch of water so I can continue on. All right, so now I'm here in my master bathroom. And as you can see, I'm going to go ahead and use the same solution, put it down here on the floor, give it a good scrubbing, and then you'll see that I'll have to pull out the big dogs in here. I want to live your life. I want to dream your dreams. Lick the moons, catch them the stars in the night. Every superpower that is yours will be mine. I'll be that it girl, pouting mouth, crossing the line. Alright, so I'm going to call it a night and I'm going to pick this up again tomorrow and we'll see where we're at. Like okay, so as you can see, I'm going ahead and I'm giving um, a second dose to a few areas. And then it's when I realize that I need to go ahead and buy something else that is a little bit stronger than what I'm using. I do the same, I'm a sinner. I do the same, I'm a sinner. I do the same, I'm a sinner. I wanna live your life. I wanna dream your Okay, so this is Zepp's Grout Cleaner and Brightener. Now this has a stronger acid in it, so it's recommending that you wear safety products. That shows how much stronger that this is. So anyways, they are suggesting that you just go ahead and pour it onto your grout lines. Um, I'm not comfortable doing that, so I'm gonna go ahead and just use a little foam brush. Um, I got a little container that I have some in it and I just put it on the grout line. Now it fizzles up. It's almost like a peroxide type fizzle. It'll fizzle up and then after a few minutes, um, it starts releasing a lot of that dirt. I do use the brush on it, um, but you need to be very careful when you're using the brush because you don't want to spray any of this up on your furniture, your baseboards, your walls, because it's an acid and it can um, do some harm, you know, to those areas. So mind you that you're not seeing me do the whole house because that would just um, be so boring for you guys to watch. But rest assured that if there's tile in the room, then the grout got done. All right, so now we're in the hallway and I've got this awful gash right here in the corner of my wall. So I'm gonna go ahead and fix that and some other areas that I have in the house. What I use is this um, compound, this little dry um, spackling compound. It's pink and when it's um, dry, it turns white. Now you're gonna see me using my finger. The reason that I'm doing this is because I have that textured wall. So I wanna try to make this textured um, without having to spray. There's a special spray that you can spray on there that will give you that texture. And I'm hoping to eliminate that um, step by just using my finger. Um, so I'll put this on and then once it turns um, white, I'll come and check it and then um, if it's ready to go, then I'll go ahead and I will softly sand it just so that way it's, you know, any of the high peaks get taken off because this is a knockdown um, texture on my wall. So you want it to be kind of knocked down. So I'll do that with a, um, a sanding block. So I have this area here and then I have a couple more areas around the house that I need to fill in. So this is one of the things that I like to do, um, like when I'm cleaning, I'm doing my zone cleaning, things like that. If I can't get to areas like this, I'll go ahead and put it on a list. So that way when um, the time comes, I can just do all these things at one time. 
So um, here's another one, same hallway, just right directly across um, the way from what I just did. I just turned around and I'm doing this little hole. So um, it's actually more like a dent, um, a corner of something hit that. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill this in and then we'll go do some other areas around the house. All right, so I'm back here in the hallway. Um, I see that there's a little bit of an area here that I need to go ahead and fill back in. See it right here? So I'm gonna go ahead and fill that in and then um, let that dry and do the process again. I should have kept you close. I should have held you tighter cause in my book you were my favorite chapter. And when we left each other, damn, what was I thinking? Thought there was no so blinded to believe it now You're probably thousands of miles away And it's been years since I've seen your smiling face And even though I took measures for all my pain I still dream about you lately and I knew you Okay, so this is going to need to be filled in a little bit more also. Um, with these compounds, um, they tend to shrink, so um, oftentimes you have to come back in and do a second coat. So once all this dries, I will be painting over all these areas. Okay, so this is something that I do every spring. I like to use my dry film lubricant. Now this isn't oily, it's dry. And I put the little straw in it and I go and I do all of the door locks, the door handles, hinges, things like that. Even if it doesn't need to be done, I go ahead and do it um, because it's maintenance. That way it doesn't get to the point where it needs to be done. Um, I'm maintaining these areas. So we're going to go around to a few of the areas and you can see me maintaining some of these areas. As you can see, the courtyard is a mess. It's been a pretty rough winter here, so my courtyard has really taken a beating. Um, next week, we're going to be getting to that and a lot of other things that I'll be doing some for um, spring cleaning outdoors. Um, I'll also be doing some sprucing up. So be sure that you're subscribed and that you've clicked the notification bell because you're really going to enjoy next week's video as well. You can tell by the sound of this that I need to get in here and go ahead and spray some of this in here. So there's a special little spot here on these, um, these windows that need to get done. And it's right here. It's like a little um, metal bar. So you want to spray that and then just slide your window open and closed, open and closed, open and closed. Just that way you can um, really distribute that dry oil inside of your um, window um, seal. Is it a seal? Edge? whatever it is, that's what you're doing. So that's what you're gonna see me doing. I'm gonna do it for all the windows in the house. You're only gonna see me doing it on a few windows, but again, if there's windows in my house, then they are also getting done. With the exception for the one that's in my mother-in-law's casita, um, I need to have my husband go in there and take care of that for me. With no regret I'm content Of all the little things in front of me No more thinking of you then no more praying you were doing well No stressing if I hear them wedding bells But if I wanted to be selfish I wouldn't be able to help it I wonder Where have you gone? Lost me Where have you gone? Please come back to my home I'm out here waiting for a girl call Oh I, oh I never should have let you go Oh no, oh no, oh no I wish I could
here waiting for your call. Oh, I should have never let you go. All right, so a lot of my fellow cleaning enthusiasts, y'all are going to notice that I'm doing this backwards. So I'm putting the oil down before I vacuum the track. There's a good reason why I'm doing that. I have a good friend here on my um, channel. She suggested a vacuum to me a while back. She insisted that I needed this vacuum. So I went ahead and got it. And um, when I get it, I'm going to vacuum these tracks. You'll see that next. So I'm going to go ahead and use this um, spray down on the tracks. Now, mind you, the spray is not oily. It's a dry oil. So it's, I'm not getting an oily clump of anything down here. So. Okay, so this is the next day. The vacuums come in, and I'm going to go ahead and use them on this track. This is going to be the first place that I use this. So, as you can see, these tracks get pretty bad. Now, typically, I use my Dyson. I just um, put the little crevice tool in here, and I use that to clean all this up. But um, the Dyson gets heavy on my hands. Just, I mean, just even the, the, the motor part is heavy on my hands, especially if I'm going up high or things like that. So, um, I'm really liking this new vacuum. It's the Zing Bissell, I think is what it's called. Um, I'm really liking it um, because I can carry this thing around the house and it's not killing my hands. It can be rolled around. Um, it's, it's just got special features that I really love. I'm going to go ahead and show it to you here. All right, so this is the Bissell Zing. This thing is tiny, but I'm telling you, it is mighty. I love that it's small enough for me to be able to pick up, move around. It's got the two big wheels on the back so it doesn't tip. Um, it rolls around, follows me around wherever I'm going to clean. I also like that it has this handy little button. You push it and, and the cord just winds right up. I also like that I can just take my foot and press on the on off button easily. Um, I also like that um, you can just remove that green little canister and um, dump it. Nothing is heavy with this thing. So um, that is great. And then the main thing that I really like is that it's got the, um, the pull with the attachment. So I'm not holding that big heavy Dyson. Um, cause, Cause yes, the Dyson's nice, it's cordless. But if I'm having to reach up high with that heavy um, equipment, it, you know, again, it's heavy. And I also have RA, so it makes it a little more difficult on my hands. Anyways, I love this. Thank you so much, Marcy, for recommending it to me. I also want to add in here that it comes with three tools. It has the crevice tool. It has the tool that has like the horse hair on it. And then it also comes with a floor vacuum. Now it's not a carpet vacuum, so it doesn't have a beater bar, but um, for hardwood floors. Now I did, um, or hard tile floors like I have. Now I did um, use it on my um, carpet, um, the rug, the throw rug. And the suction is so great on it that it just pulls the rug up off the ground. So it's got great suction on this thing. So this is definitely going to be added into my favorite cleaning tools. Now at the end of this video, I am going to post a video for you of all my favorite cleaning products and cleaning tools. Um, I also show you how I use them. Um, that video is great since it's spring cleaning. You can go and watch the video and figure out what tools that you might need. I also include all the links to go with the tools, all the things that you need. So again, I will post that video at the end of this video for you. Hi, let's go. Today. Today's forecast, a lot of sunshine, blue skies, marine clouds. Just the perfect day to go outside and relax. That's your forecast. We'll be right back. Yeah, sunny days, sunny days, sunny days. No clouds in the sky, but again, away feels like it's been a freaking decade. Sorry, don't call because I'm gonna be on gray. Sunny days, sunny day, baby. Okay, so I'm back in this hallway. This is where um, I did those touch-ups of the drywall. I went ahead and I used my um, sanding block and I sanded it. So I'm going to go ahead and vacuum everything up. And since I've got this um, Zing um, vacuum, I wanted to go ahead and show you how I can use these on my baseboards and how much quicker it is than when I was using my Dyson. Because my Dyson was so heavy, I could only um, get around so far with that Dyson. Now, needless to say, this does come with a cord. However, it's, it's long enough to where I can go up and down um, the hallway, things like that, uh, do the majority of the room. I might have to switch 
um, the plug once if um, the room is you know larger like maybe my um, my master bedroom I would have to switch it um, you know one time but other than that I, I absolutely love this thing look how easy it is for me to lift it up above my head and um, get it into the angle like that if I were to hold the Dyson like that it would be very hard on my hands plus I wouldn't be able to get into the corners very well because of the the um, the bulkiness of the actual vacuum anyways okay I'm done talking about the Zing um, you can see that I really like it um, it's definitely um, what everybody says that it is it's got great reviews I know there's a lady on um, Instagram that does um, cleaning co I think that's what it's called cleaning co she's the one that recommended it and everybody's been loving it so I'm so glad that I picked it up Party, don't want no drama with any bad karma Got a lot of that in Levita Loke I just want to let it all go Yeah, I can't say no when I'm this free Don't want to go home when I can't sleep Weather's so nice, only got good vibes Yeah, we're here chilling, chilling in paradise Sunny day, sunny day, sunny days No clouds in the sky, but I get away Feels like it's been a freaking decade Sorry, don't call me cause I'm gonna be on bread Sunny day, sunny day, make way All the stress and doubt weekend Michael and I are going to be doing the spring cleaning video um, outside one of the things that we do is we pressure wash the whole house like I said it's been a rough winter here there's a lot of mud and dirt everywhere so we're gonna pressure wash everything which I like to do in the spring anyways so um, that's why I'm not cleaning these windows um, yes I could clean the inside but actually to clean the outside of that bottom window you pull the window to the inside of the house and then you clean it from the inside so um, instead of doing that I'm just going to go ahead and just clean out the tracks um, clean out the window seal um, things like that and then when I get back from Disney is when I'm going to clean all these windows on the outside so as I'm cleaning and as I'm cleaning right here you can see that I found a little spot um, that I need to pay attention to um, I noticed that this um, shutter is not shutting completely. Um, I think the screws need to be tightened. So this is something that I'm going to be putting down on the list so that we make sure we get in here and maintain this. You don't want this to go on for too long. You want to take care of it, um, you know, pretty quick um, so that way it doesn't get worse. But there is a little bit of chipping of the paint, I guess, because it's hitting it. So I'm going to go ahead and put that on a list and Michael and I will get that fixed. All right, so me and the Bissell Zing are now here in the dining room. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in in here, and I'm also going to switch out the um, attachment and make the pole shorter. Um, I am working around a bunch of toys here. Um, I keep a lot of toys for the grandkids here. There's a car, there's a bucket of blocks, and things like that. So um, you're gonna see me tiptoeing and uh, maneuvering around those toys. So you think you were right? Mm -hmm. Bring it on, bring it on, prove me wrong. Go put up a fight. Mm -hmm. The way I do, the way I do will knock you down. You know there's a motion between the Typically when I come over here and use my Dyson to vacuum out this, I have to stand up on those chairs or I have to get a ladder. So this is so nice that I can just add um, the extra length of the pole and I can get up there and get right up into the corners up there. So again, another reason why I like this Bissell Zing. All 
right, so this is my tabletop blue air air purifier, and I absolutely love this thing. You know, it does all the things that it says it does. It collects all this dust and fur, and um, it really does purify the air. Um, it comes with an app, and it tells me um, when the air isn't really good, when it's not good quality, and I can definitely notice it when I open the sliders. Um, there's like um, a little thing on my phone that tells me that the air quality is not very good and it kicks up the fan and um, starts pulling in all that yuck. So I'm going to get in here and I'm going to vacuum all this out. Um, pretty soon it's going to be time for me to buy new filters. Um, I've had this, I would say about a year. I think it's been about a year. I think I got it last um, spring. Um, and I have not had to change the filters yet. It says I still have 37% on them, so I'm going to go ahead and order them. But, um, you know, these last a year, that's pretty good. I do vacuum them out um, like you see me doing, and I also vacuum out those um, screens. So I take, you know, very good care of this. I say I do this about every three months. Um, but again, I do have pets. I do have a lot of grandkids, and we like to keep our um, slider open. Um, when it's not too hot or too cold outside, so. So earlier we were talking about my home maintenance binder and I want to go ahead and go more in depth of what's in my binder. Now of course I have a few copies of my weekly cleaning schedule. Uh, many of you have um, emailed me for your copy of the cleaning schedule. If you haven't, go ahead and um, shoot me an email um, and I will send you a copy of my weekly cleaning schedule. Anyway, I have made several copies of that schedule and I keep it in the front of the binder so that way I can just pull one out each week and then I can either hang it on the side of the refrigerator or um, put it in my office. And it kind of acts like a one page day timer for me oh, and, and it's all on one page. It's a week all in one page. Anyways, and then the other things that I keep in the binder um, are like maintenance instructions for the majority of the things that um, I have here in my home. You know, think things like um, the grout, um, the paint colors, the doors, windows, shingles, the iron gate at the um, front of the courtyard, um, as well as products like this blue air, um, air purifier, my Roomba, even my new Bissell Zing will be in there. So basically all the things that need to be taken care of. So I have an Excel spreadsheet in there, which has all the things you know, all the things that I mentioned plus more. And it has a place there that tells me how often I need to maintain or that that product needs to be maintained. And then it also has a blank spot where I can fill in the date of when I took care of it. So um, I want you to know I'm not overly perfectionistic about these things. I'm just mindful of them. Um, some things just require maintenance. And if you want to keep up with the warranty on things, um, you're going to have to maintain those things. So I just like to uh, keep a list. And when the things are taken care of, I just go ahead and mark it off. And then I have a blank sheet of paper in there that I call the honeydew list. Now, this is not because I'm expecting my honey to do, <laughs> because honestly, we typically take care of these things together. But the honeydew list is where I will write down issues that I come across, like the chip window seal that was right there underneath my shutters. I'll go ahead and write that down. And then when we're going to Home Depot or Lowe's, I'll look at that list and see if there's anything on that list that's going to require things that I need to pick up from Lowe's or Home Depot. 
Now, one thing that I don't keep in the binder are the product instructions, the booklets, the pamphlets, things like that. Those things are just far too thick to keep in the binder. The binder is something that I get into um, very often, and I really don't want a thick binder. But the pamphlets and things I do keep in a file folder that goes into a, a like a file folder box um, that I keep at the top of my closet. So anyways, again, I'm revamping my binder. And once I get everything in order, I'll share that with you. Right, so I'm back in the hallway. I've already gone ahead and filed down or sanded down um, this patch and um, I've dusted it off and now I'm going to go ahead and paint it. Now I keep paint in these little plastic containers. I bought them off of Amazon um, and it's my indoor paint. I'm almost out of it and I'm going to have to try to get a match to this paint. Um, as you know, sometimes that can be a little tricky. But anyways, I am going to um, touch up these areas and then I'm also going to check all my walls throughout the house for any scuff marks, um, things like that that need to be touched up. I like to have a flat paint in my house. I know it's not preferable, especially if you have kids, but I've always preferred to have a flat paint. So in order to take care of that, I have to touch up paint. I'll, uh, more often than <laughs> than the majority of the people who have like a semi-gloss or an eggshell. Um, I don't mind it um, as long as I've got the right paint. Um, anyways, so this is the color match exactly because this is the actual paint of the wall. But when you go in and you try to um, have them remix it, sometimes it doesn't completely match. And also, as your paint is on the wall and the sun's hitting it and things like that, it can change the color of your paint. So when you go to touch it up, um, you can see that touch up. So one of the things that I do is when I um, put the paint on here, I will feather it out to the um, sides you want to give it a nice little feather out so that way um, you know at least you have a little bit of a feathering if there's a, a if it doesn't completely match um, it's less noticeable if you feather it out I think you get what I mean anyways I'm gonna go around the whole house you may not see every single room of the house but I do go around the whole house and I check all the walls and if I see anything um, little marks things like that that I wasn't able to wipe off I will go ahead and paint over it. I find it hard to read you. You never say what's on your mind, yeah. I'm going crazy all over you. Just for a second, can you try? Every time you've been calling, saying this is what I want. Then you go for a week and leave me hanging all alone. Push me back, pull me in. And the other way around Pull me in, push me back
Okay, friends, if you like this video, would you please give me a big thumbs up? It tells YouTube that you think that I'm doing a good job. Now, next week, we're headed outside to take care of maintenance cleaning and some sprucing up. Oh, and Michael and I got a new toy that we're hoping that's going to help us cut down on some of the lawn maintenance that we have to do in this hot Texas heat. Anyways, before you say goodbye, I'm going to be leaving two videos for you to go see. The one on the right is a spring cleaning from 2021. It has other areas that I take care of than what you saw me doing here today. And then the one here on the left is my favorite products and tools. Okay, I'll see you again next Sunday. Until then, stay blessed, my friends.